What's up, foodies? Y'all see I'm in the kitchen today, so y'all know I'm about to cook it up. So yesterday, this lady, I follow, I, 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 I subscribed to her channel. It's called um, West Indian Delights. So she made this brown chicken rice, brown chicken and rice, a one pot meal. So I'm doing that today, y'all. And I'm gonna use my chicken thighs. Got my chicken thighs over here. Ooh. chicken thighs, got my um, <clears throat> tomato sauce, she said use coconut milk, so I'm going to start boiling this slowly, let me cut this down, she said bring it to a boil and add some salt, I guess just to give it, I'm, you know what, we've been using this stove, I've been using this stove for three years and still don't understand which eyes which, it's okay, I'm special here. I got a place for special people like this. So, okay. Alright, I'm back, y'all. So, um, where was I at? I don't even know where I was at. Anyway, showed y'all the chicken, showed y'all the coconut milk. Um, over here, I got the rice already rinsed. And I was glad that my strainer had the smaller thing so I could just use this to rinse and drain it and all that good stuff. I got some green onions. She said, well, I guess we're gonna put this in once we get everything in the pot. This is just like a little aromatic. And I got some Tony's. I don't know how to pronounce that last name, but I got some new season I wanna use on the chicken. So we're gonna see how that tastes. They say it tastes good on everything, so we're gonna try it. So for right now, she had put the whole, um, she put the whole, uh, She had put the whole uh, the stems in and everything, but I want to just cut mine up. Sorry for me being distracted. Mine block. Okay, so just take those. And so I'm going to cut all of these up and use them because I hate to. I hate to not use them. Because I buy so many fresh green uh, vegetables and they just sit in the refrigerator and just go bad. Okay, y'all, so stir this up some. Like I said, it's just coconut milk. Wherever you can find coconut milk at, um, use that. I think I might want to add a little water because it's kind of thick and it was in a baking aisle, so I don't know if it's supposed to be this thick or maybe she used. I think she, she, she like Jamaican or Indian, so she probably had good stuff. I just had to buy this out the grocery store. So. Let me just add a little bit of salt to it. And I think I'm gonna add just a little bit of water. Yeah, and I'm gonna probably add a little bit of water to um, the chicken. Alright. That probably was a tablespoon and then little shakes. I mean, I was like... All 
Alright, so just add a little bit of water. It's not a cup or anything like that, but I don't know. I think you need a little bit of water, so I'm going to add it. I just think it's a little too thick for me. I don't know what the rice is. I think she did say add a little. I don't know. I was just trying to pay attention how she was cooking it, so. And I wanted to kind of stretch because she used it two times in the meal. I'm about to season this chicken. Hopefully this season is good. She said you can use any seasoning you want. Any pieces of meat you want. So I love thighs, so I always use, I don't always use thighs, but I rather use thighs for something like this. And I already cleaned and skinned some, and I left the skin on some, because I like the skins. I don't know about, you know, everybody else, so I rather leave the skin on it. Normally I would have liked to marinate my chicken because I like my chicken to be really flavorful. Because sometimes chicken can be bland. Alright, so this is good enough. And she said try not to have it too high. You don't want it to cook too fast. You want to like slowly cook the chicken. So hopefully I, I'm doing it. Time. She had a bigger pot. I'm not sure. It's my pot. Maybe I'm just using more chicken. Okay. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more water to this coconut milk. But basically, all you need is chicken, coconut milk, tomato sauce. Green okay, up. you guys, we got the second batch. Oh my God. I'm ready to fight this tripod bag. Okay, so we got the second batch of chicken in. Let those brown off. Oh, and I want to show y'all. So I found the ginger. Because y'all remember I told y'all I was going to make a detox. So I was trying to find a ginger, so I found it. So you want to use this kind of ginger? I'm going to make it. I'm going to do a video on it. But, um. Wait, mommy. Yeah, so. And then. Uh, the lemon and you can look on Google on how to um on how to uh, boil it and do everything oh lord there she go y'all she wanted to get in so bad say hi, hi. <laughs> yeah so I'm gonna be making that detox soon I don't think it's a detox that makes you like go I think it just helps with uh like belly fat and stuff like that I don't know why the light is so bad today Anyway, so I'm gonna be making that detox, and um, yeah, I don't have too much belly fat, but you know, all the meat I'm doing, you know, you want to have something because that's one of the detox that you can just make and have in the refrigerator, so you can add, add it to like tea. Okay, I bought her some best squeeze strawberry milk like last week, so that's what I'm gonna show you guys. Tell them how you're doing on special test. I got She did really good on her service test today, so yay for Madison! <laughs> so oh, y'all, look at this! I'm probably going to see some cereal in the background. I don't think it's just a No, we're not showing cereal. So, y'all see this little charger piece? So, you know, uh, it was Tech Week at my job last No, what was that? Last week? Tech Week, they gave us these little portable charger pieces, so my phone was about to go dead, and I really couldn't like, have this connected to the wall. So this is really handy. And my boss was like, yeah, I'll take it with me, traveling and everything. So shout out to my clinic for giving us these because it's working, honey. Yes, thank you. So um, so y'all, the chicken is going. So when everything is browned up and I'm ready to combine everything, the coconut milk is ready. Those are the pieces that was done. I wish I could have got a little more brown, but I don't want them to cook too much because we still got to cook it in the coconut milk with the rice. So you only want to dip it about 75% to 80% through the flesh. Okay. Okay, so we're going to cook it up. Alright, we're back guys. So I'm just letting this 
these pieces kind of brown a little bit more on the, on the skin. Well, one got skin and one don't. So, so yeah. So like I said, you don't want to let these like get fully cooked. So right now what we're gonna do is add the um we're gonna add the tomato uh sauce to that once it heats up a little bit more. And then I think what I'm gonna do is add a little bit of curry powder because she's saying like to curry things, they not always add curry powder to it, but I want to do it. So. I'm still, I just feel like this coconut milk is a little too thick. So I just still adding a little bit of water. Okay, so y'all added the curry powder, and I can't believe I just ran out. Y'all would think I'm an Indian, how much curry powder I use. <clears throat> All right, so y'all see how that's popping? So we're gonna add this. And then she says, save some. Dash alone is like almost four dollars for one of these little things. So 
I'm a seasoning me. I like to layer my seasonings. I don't like to, you know, let one thing or season one thing and expect the whole dish to taste good. So I always add seasonings as I add things. Mrs. Dash has no salt, so whole lot of flavor with that and the chicken got flavor it's got a little salt in it so everything got its own flavor and when it come together it's probably gonna be good all right y'all all right y'all so this is about to get ready to start boiling so i tasted this and it didn't have as much seasoning as i want so it tasted kind of bland so i just added more seasoning like I said, any season that you want. Um, so this is it for the seasoning for me because I don't want to over season because I know once I add the chicken, that's going to add season to it because it's all going to be married together. So just taste it as you go to make sure. I know a lot of people, sometimes when you just in your own mix and you're trying to get it done, you don't taste the food, but try to taste it, especially something like this because you don't want... I, I don't like bland rice. I don't like none of that. So I have to make sure what I'm cooking tastes good before I um, continue on, especially sauces and things like that. But since the chicken is seasoned, I'm pretty sure it'll come out pretty good. <clears throat> so now this is coming up to a boil. We're about to start adding these uh, the chicken in, y'all. Chicken is over here. So we're gonna start adding this in. Chicken pieces. That's how she did. She added the chicken before she added the rice. So you see how they submerged in there? So that should be enough. So like I said, depending on how much you're trying to cook, you gotta kinda know how much to use to make sure everything get covered, especially that rice, because you don't want that rice to be hard and undercooked when it's time to eat. <laughs> but I love one pot meals. I mean, you know, I'm using multiple things, but if you could put it all in one pot and it come together, like you don't have just, like once I'm done with all this stuff, I can wash everything and it'll be done. I'm all right with that. So one pot meals, I'm all for it. So tomorrow my daughter has gymnastics every Saturday up until January 19th. So we will be up, well I'm gonna be up in the morning anyway driving. So 10.15 to 9.45 she will be at gymnastics and then we're gonna come home and carve this pumpkin I got. Let me show y'all this pumpkin. It is huge. I got it from, I think I showed it to y'all before, I don't know. I got it from Costco for for um, $5 when I went and bought those king crab legs. <clears throat> and that was a good deal for a, um, a huge, a huge pumpkin like that. All right, so I'm done with this. So let me remove this. All right, so this is coming up to a boil. Y'all, I'm so excited, woo! Cause I buy this stuff all the time, I just never made it. So for her to make it look so easy, I was like, well, I gotta make this tomorrow. This would be perfect. I can use my favorite piece of chicken, the thigh. And I can use the rice that I bought that I, I never really make white rice because I feel like it's plain, but I need to start cooking it more and adding, adding flavor to it, so. Got in the bed because I woke up. I don't know what time I woke up. I'm gonna put it on the table. Okay. So I woke up at about six, but I was already woke at like two or three in the morning. One, one, one or two. And I basically stayed woke up until like two or three. Then I got up at six. I was supposed to be. Yeah. So um, I laid down, y'all, and I literally didn't even realize I had fell asleep. Like. My boyfriend got up and was getting ready for work. He was, you know, doing his thing. And by the time I didn't even, I didn't even see him ironing clothes. Normally, I see the light come on and everything. And I got in the bed at like 
maybe 15 minutes before he even was done. And I literally didn't remember him ironing his clothes or anything like that. I'm like, wow, I must have been really tired. So my sleep is off because I try not to go to bed until like late so I don't wake up in the middle of the night. But I somehow I still wake up at 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning and then be up knowing I have to get up and go drive and now I'm just starting to get up at 6 and it's it's just weird but anyway okay so now we can go ahead and add the rice so this should be enough rice because even though it looked like a little bit a little bit of rice goes a long way Little these grains be small, but by the time they chop up, you're like, oh my god, like grits. When I say I messed up a whole pot of grits at my mom's house, that one year was a long time ago. I was younger, of course, <laughs> but I was like, I don't even know if I was in my twenties yet. Maybe was I nineteen? I don't know, y'all. But when I say I messed up that whole pot of grits, like the grits, y'all see this pot, this big old pot. The grits was all the way up here, and it was all still hard. And I had to secretly throw them away, because if you would have found out I messed up a whole pot of grits, she probably would have whooped my ass. I mean, my butt. Oh, Lord, y'all. Uh. But that's how she, she would have, that's how it would have been, with the ASS word. You know, whoop no butt. You know, them different words mean a whole different meaning, so. All right, so this is boiling, so now I'm gonna go ahead and add these um, green onions in. I don't know if the brown stuff is in the end. All right, so add the green onions, and that's gonna add even more flavor. I don't know when she added this. I'm adding everything right now because she said it'll take about 30 minutes after you add everything. And it should be done. So we gonna see. That looks pretty. A little bit. Okay, so she said add. <laughs> Grab a top. Hopefully this comes out good, y'all. Like I say, I'm trying this for the first time. A lot of stuff I'm gonna try for the first time with y'all. <laughs> so don't laugh at me if this don't, uh... or give me some pointers. I got some old schoolers that I got in my, um, that support me and that watch my videos sometimes. So. If it don't come out right, give me some pointers. I know rice and all this stuff, but this is like a different type of cuisine that we cooking right now. So we gonna see how everything look when 30 minutes pass. See y'all then. Okay, you guys, this is the end result. I had a little mishap with the rice, um, but it turned out pretty good. So end result, had to add a little bit more seasoning and you know things like that had to add a little bit um i messed up a little bit on some things but you know we're not gonna worry about that everything looks good and i'm proud but next time i know i can do things a lot better but like i said it's always trial and error when cooking and the best mistakes happen in the kitchen for sure so i will see you guys um I don't know, maybe tomorrow. Yeah, I, like I said, tomorrow we're going to uh, carve the pumpkin. And this light is really blinding me. <laughs> so, um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.